So I'm not a soft homage expert. I've got it sitting here on one of my computers, but I, I just never have found the time to use it. Um, but moto modeling after you rig is really easy. So this is a hammerhead shark. Um, it's for a project I did. And so it's all rigged up. It's 100% procedural. So here's the, the rigging graph. It's you know, a bunch of oscillators and fall offs and things like that. So I can grab this and adjust the, um, you know, like the amplitude of, of the, of the swish or, uh, the frequency, if I want to move faster or, you know, the direction, if I want to turn, um, you know, I've got the old jaw, I hide the, uh, bones there, old jaw. Um, so all that stuff, right. And I can to escape. Uh, what's cool is deformations is just a setting in a viewport. So you know, I'm in the setup mode and deformations are turned on, but I can turn off deformations. So you know, the if I look at the bones, they're still there, but deformations are off, and so I can I can turn those back on. I could you know split the viewport. Maybe I want one with def deformations off. So I want to model this guy over here and see what it looks like over here, or I could turn uh, you know independent scale and everything else, or independent viewport rotation on so I can get a better angle of this guy and and model here um, or I can just kill that guy and go over to my model viewport which already has deformations turned off and just grab you know I could probably turn on symmetry actually um, just do a quick modeling operation right give this guy some horns yippee um, or maybe I use a, you know a sculpt tool or something like that um, to make a little adjustment to this guy turn on sub D's there um, and and then I go back to setup or animate and what happened is these new vertices inherited uh, those weights so it's still you know I've added new vertices and I can still I can you know go in here and and add an edge loop and it's it's gonna pick up you know interpolation of weights between those two loops so um, you can add new verts you can tweak verts you can do whatever you want to do you know, I can go in here and, and create um, like a morph map, right? So I go over to my uh, lists and here's a morph map and I'll make a new one. I'll just call it uh, Big Eyes. And so if we want to make a morph for our guy here, let me get rid of the work plane. Um, I've got symmetry on still. So I can I can grab my eyes and just we'll just morph them up, right? Scale them up pretty stupid looking but that's that's a morph map right so there it's on there it's off it's morph maps right along with the geometry they're just alternate vert positions right it's really easy uh, if I go back over to setup and I look at my deformations I only have bone deformations on this guy that's the only thing I've got on there if I want to add that morph deformation then no problem I can just grab that guy and say add morph influence and and there throws a locator in the screen if you want you can hide it if you want to if you don't want to see it in there um, this guy right here whoops that turns it off in the item list you can hide it so the morph influence is at 100 percent let's turn that down to zero percent let's show you how this um, order of operations work here so uh, order of operations go from the bottom up so right now moto is doing the bone deformation first and then the morph um this is called a channel hall i can i can put the morphs on top of that uh, but what I could also do if I want the morphs to fire first, and there's all kinds of other better examples where you may want the morphs to fire first. So I just put it underneath, and there's a setting there. And so now the morphs are firing first, and then the bones um, deform after the morphs deform. So that's how I could turn off deformations whenever I want. You know, now that's going, but morphs are off. Have morphs on, turn off bones, and we just had the morph going. You can see the skeleton still moving there. So there's there's a lot you can do with moto rigging. It's actually um, it's really interesting, and I think a lot of people maybe just don't. It's it's just new. It's different than Maya. It's different than Softimage. I can create a weight container, which is really cool. So let me grab all these points here, and uh, let me just grab his his head, and I can create a, a weight container. And here's a weight container, and I can rig this weight container up. Let's say I want um I create a new workspace. I have multiple schematic workspaces, so let's let's create a new workspace and call it uh, weight container rig. And go in here, and I can drag my weight container in, which has those points which I threw in there, and I can add a bend um, deformer to the scene. I could throw that in here, and then I can add what's called an influence and and 
in Modo. We can do a general influence. Influence is basically connecting this control, this bend control. Let me just go to setup mode here. Bend control with the what points you define. Points, I'm just defining a weight container. You know, these guys right here. And, and for my um, control, I'm, I'm putting this bend effector in. And while I'm in the bend effector, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it on the Z in setup mode. I come back out here and I can um, change my, my bend angle, right? Let's, let's actually, let's, so I don't want it to go that way. Let's say I don't like that. So let's go to setup mode and let's um, turn the, uh, the Z to 90 and go back out here and go back to my angle. And, you know, maybe I want something like that, right? And let's say I want that to fire this bend to fire prior to everything else. I can just drag that down. And, and so when it does the um, deformations here, it's, it's going to bend first and then morph and then bone everything, then the bone deformation. So um, you can fix a lot of um, deformation problems by reordering deformations. It's, it's, really, uh, it's really cool. So, you know, that's real basic motor rigging there, but, um, this is an interesting thing. So I can even throw in, watch this. Let me just go back to, let me grab my um, influence here. Set that to zero. Let's say I have a, another object. Let's throw in a sphere and uh, move this here. And let's grab all these points on the sphere. And on my weight container, I'm going to add those points to the weight container. So when I, when I bend, let's say I go back to my, let's go to wireframe so you can see how this works. So I go back to my, uh, bend effector, and I'm uh, bending this guy. Bending. I'm now I'm bending the sphere too, because I've abstracted the weight from geometry. This weight container will take points from whatever you want in the scene and pipes it into this influence, um, which then will will be affected by whatever sort of effector you have in here—a bend or a vortex or a magnet or whatever. Um, you can see you've got different types of uh, options here in the influence. I can do weight maps or vertex selection sets, specific materials, part and polygon selection sets, materials. These are all um, basically polygon selection sets. And um, so it's really powerful. It's I know it's different than soft homage, but I don't know soft homage well enough, honestly, to give a very good comparison. But I'm, I'm telling you, like Moto is, it's getting there and it does some really unique stuff. This, um, you know, the, the biggest issue really is playback, def, you know, def, playback speed and deformations. Like, you know, with this little guy, I can get, um, let me just type in a command here. Yeah, you know, I'm getting 15 frames a second on this guy. Um, but that's, that's not that great, right? This should be 30 frames per second. So the, the speed of playback is um, a little slow, should be faster. And uh, weight painting needs to be, you know, here I'm just, you know, I'm maxing out my video card here. Um, weight painting needs to be a little bit faster as well. So there's some things, animation layers, of course, nonlinear animation. But they're, they're making huge steps each, each release. And, um, you know, that, this is where it's going. It's, a, it's just a really cool program.